Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do another debunk video and this video is called Crypto Lou is a good researcher and I'm going to be debunking that claim. Now, I would just like to say that I had no intentions or plans on making a video like this until I saw certain comments disparaging my own research by Crypto Lou. Now, bear in mind that my research about ISO 2022, RTGS, HVPS and XRP utility by banks around the dates of November 2022 and March 2023 so far has been correct. Well, it has been correct for November 2022 and I believe my research is also, it also applies to March 2023 and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch my videos my playlist series and you would understand what research i have presented and so far no one has yet to objectively debunk my content people have disparaged it called it fud but no one has objectively been able to debunk it also watch my debunk playlist series and you will see that i have deb debunk other people's content that are spreading misinformation but no one has done that to me so after seeing my research being undermined by CryptoLoo, who as a YouTuber has spread a lot of misinformation in the space, I decided to make this video to see whether CryptoLoo's research stands up to scrutiny. And the reason why I decided to make this video was because of these comments that I read. So here's a comment, I'm not sure where it's from, but it says, Lewis needs to watch those videos. And those videos are referring to my content. And he says, I know enough about him to know he doesn't do his research. He's a chump. Meaning me, he's saying that I don't do my research and I'm a chump. Constantly trying to oppose people who have a larger following to get attention. So I'm trying to oppose people because I'm doing it for attention. Now, I would just like to add to that remark there is that if you look at my content, when I oppose someone, do I attack the individual personally by calling them a chump or do I literally address their misinformation? You could be the judge of that. Am I attacking them personally or am I addressing the misinformation in the space and their arguments? He picks and chooses his arguments to suit his agenda. Terrible channel to watch. I don't say that about anyone. So I'm doing it for attention. I pick and choose my arguments to suit my agenda I don't know what my agenda is and I'm a terrible channel to watch and he doesn't say that about anyone now the only agenda I have is when I make debunking videos is to clarify and point out the misinformation and clarify the correct information that's my agenda and to say I pick and choose my arguments I pick and choose what is what I need to debunk if if something is correct I'm not going to do a video on it and say, oh yeah, that's correct. Because my channel is not about saying, oh yeah, that's correct. My channel is about pointing out what's wrong and clarifying it. That's what I mostly focus on right now. So I am going to pick and choose the content that I talk about. And there is no agenda. The agenda is here is if it's misinformation, I'm going to address it. If it's not, then there's, no there's nothing for me to address. There is no actual agenda other than debunking misinformation anyways another comment audacious investor is a fud stirrer please don't post him here not sure where that is but i'm a fud stirrer and he doesn't want people to share my content in his community so if you're not a discord member already i would highly consider it when xrp takes off tomorrow or 2023 the members will get 100 percent of my attention the true value of the membership will come through in major fashion. Join now. Now, that sort of makes sense why he doesn't want me posted in his community because my content is about exposing misinformation. So if I'm exposing misinformation that he's spreading, it's it may affect his business because it seems like he has a... What does he say here? If you're not a Discord member already, I would highly consider it. When XRP takes off tomorrow or 2023, the members will get 100% of my attention. So I can only assume to be a Discord member is a paid service 
And he's saying if you're not one already, then he considers you paying for that service because when XRP takes off tomorrow, I'm not sure when that tomorrow is. It must be a month in November, maybe November the 21st, because that's when they were all saying it's going to take off. So clearly he believed it was going to take off. And remember, my research was saying nothing was going to happen on November the 21st or 2023. The members will get 100% of my attention. The true value of the memberships will come through in major fashion. So that's why he doesn't like my content posted, because it obviously is bad for business. Here's another comment. Or, okay, here's your update. We all know the value of what we have largely down to the research being carried out on our behalf. The problem with other content providers are they are seeing this community rising at an astonishing rate. Those of influence are requesting Lewis. Why is that? Why not ask the audacious investor? The clear reason is because they are not knowledgeable enough about the subject matter to provide clear guidance and valuable content. So DMN, I'm not sure who he is, but he's basically saying that I must be jealous about crypto lose the community and its rise and that I, as a content creator, I'm not knowledgeable enough about the subject matters that I'm talking about. And bearing in mind, I've never claimed to be knowledgeable about anything. All I do is research and present that information to you guys and form my opinions based upon my research and I try to have a critical objective mindset taking out emotions and just looking at the facts. I really don't care where the facts lead because if the facts lead to no price appreciation I will tell you no price appreciation. I have no emotions attached. Now obviously some people got emotional about the fact that I said nothing is going to happen in November because it wasn't about research at that stage, it was about what they wanted to happen and that's why they disliked my content. So here he says the reason is because they are not knowledgeable enough. So I'm not knowledgeable not enough about the subject matter, bearing in mind I have been correct all along, to provide clear guidance and valuable content. So I can't even provide valuable content. So I'm guessing Crypto Lou is knowledgeable enough about the subject matter and he's able to provide clear guidance and he does have valuable content. And this is what this video is about, debunking whether Crypto Lou, debunking the claim that Crypto Lou is a good researcher. Now, let's just go back to our channels one year ago, Crypto Lou's channel one year ago and my channel one year ago. Now, I would say this, Crypto Lou has had much more success than me, but at the same time, he's been putting in the work more than I have. And not only that, he, he has just had better success than me. Whereas me, I've never taken my channel too seriously up until this year where I started posting content more frequently, should I say. And also my content is very, or should I say my channel is very esoteric. So it's not really for everyone and it's not intended for everyone. And it's more niche for a specific community or type of people that would like my content. Whereas and it's not really hopium based. So if I was focusing on my content on a lot of hopium dates and timelines and content like that, my channel may have better growth than how I choose to just debunk misinformation in this space. So I really don't care about um, channel growth. I'm happy to grow organically and slowly and have a small following. But let's just look at our channels one year ago and see who was doing what, just to see who is likely to have more knowledge in this space. So one year ago, Crypto Lou was posting videos like how to organize a man's clothes, draw satisfying, how to achieve financial freedom at a young age, five side hustles for extra money, four life lessons for 18 year olds, how to overcome fear forever. So as you can see from this content, it's a lot of random how to videos and Let's continue. Feeling unproductive? Try this today. He has one crypto video here. The ultimate crypto strategy for lazy investors. Then it's back to how, how to cure a cold fast. It's random. How can you have a crypto video and then talking about a cold fast? How to be a man? Okay. Why I take financial risks? I'm all in on crypto. Another crypto video. Secret, secrets of elite performance. A story of Tyrell Hatter. As you can see, he is posting a lot of random content and... It's as if he doesn't know 
in what direction is his channel going in and what content should he focus on. He's trying to get feelers and tests what the subscribers like. And I can tell you from his um, market research and posting all these videos, it probably became very apparent that, that people liked the crypto content. Because if you look at his videos, Feeling Unproductive, 56 views, How to Be a Man, 102 views, um, How to Cure a Cold Fast, 51 views, um, this video here about Tyrell Hatton, 29 views. Now, he did this um, crypto content, 277 views, one year ago. Why I Take Financial Risks, I'm All in Crypto, 127 views, one year ago. So as you can see, these crypto content was giving him much more views, and he obviously noticed it. So, so... Here we have more content, how to bow tie your Adidas sneakers one year ago, random content again, how to run a marathon one year ago, 31 views, 53 views, how to solve the Rubik's Cube, how can you be talking about crypto one in one video and now you're talking about shoelaces running a marathon and you've got a Rubik's Cube in your mouth, 31 views, things that will change your life for the better, 55 views, I tried Jesus morning routine, 72 views so as you can see random content and he's getting very small amount of views nothing's really happening and then bam should i buy a ledger watch before you buy 757 views it became pretty clear to him that the content he needs to be focusing on because it's giving him the most amount of traction when he was making all these random videos is the crypto content now, there is a very high possibility that if these how-to videos were the content that was giving him hundreds of views and the crypto content was giving him insignificant amount of views, his channel today would be about how to tie your shoelaces, how to wear your pants, how to put on a t-shirt. Do you know what I'm saying? Like how to um, fit an Ikea wardrobe. That could have been his channel today. But he was throwing out all this random content and it was clear that the direction he should go in one year ago is crypto because that's what people wanted. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just showing you what his channel was about one year ago. Now, let's look at my channel. And remember, I have not been active on YouTube um, like that. I've thrown a video out here and there and that's it. But this is what I was putting on my channel three years ago. The best silver bullion coin to buy in the UK. 4,000 views three years ago. Now my channel has a small amount of subscribers so you're not going to see much views for my content especially three years ago as well and but the point is I'm showing you the contrast between the content he was putting out one year ago and what I was putting out time ago. Why buy gold and silver? The purchasing power of paper currency three years ago. Look three years ago I was talking about how to set up and f configure your Ledger Nano S tutorial. Three years ago, I was making this video. It's got 84 views, but three years ago, with no subscribers to my channel, 84 views, and fine, I was doing that three years ago. One year ago, Crypto Lou, who is supposed to be this great researcher, and I'm supposed to be the person that doesn't know how to do my research properly, he was making videos on how to solve a Rubik's Cube, how to tie your shoelaces, and three years ago, I was making videos on setting up a ledger. Who do you think has more of a background in crypto? Me or him? Okay, two years ago, how to access your Ethereum, no, sorry, three years ago, how to access your Ethereum and ERC20 tokens with ledger. Another tutorial, I was talking about silver here. Two years ago, what cryptos I'm investing in in 2020, long-term cryptocurrency. Lebanon's banking crisis and violence is the Bitcoin game over. Massive Bitcoin price drop two years ago. So as you can see, th from three years ago, I was talking about crypto and Crypto Lou one year ago was talking about shoelaces and he saw that crypto was what the market wanted and that's what he decided to tailor his channel toward. Now, with that being said, this was just an introduction. Let's get into the actual content as to whether Crypto Lou is a good researcher and I'm going to be debunking that claim. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so as to not miss my next video.